getting married this past off season. Uh, me and my wife are real happy. Her name's Bria. And a uh, week before camp, we just found out that she's pregnant, so we're happy with that. Don Barclay describes himself as a devoted family guy. The soon-to-be father was always around family while growing up just outside of Pittsburgh. Live close to my grandparents. A lot of family live close by, so we'd always hang out uh, Sunday dinners. My grandma would cook a lot, so just being close to my wife. Uh, we just got a dog. You know, I'm, I'm a, I, like, I love people. You know, I love to be around them and just hang out. Barclay has no complaints from back then, although he couldn't get started in football as early as he might have liked. Don is really not that big by NFL offensive tackle standards, but when he was a young kid, he says he was too big to play football. He was big into baseball as a kid, but eventually found out that football would be his sport. I couldn't play football because I was too heavy growing up, so that was one challenge I had. Nowadays, I heard that um, they don't have a weight limit, but they just have a weight limit for like ball carriers. Back then, you, you either made the weight or you didn't. I was a big baseball fan growing up. I played a lot of baseball. Uh, I was lucky. My, my dad built a batting cage in our backyard, and we played on this. Um, it was like a, it wasn't a Little League World Series. It was more of an AAU team, and and we went and won up at Cooperstown, New York, in a 12-year-old tournament, and we got in the Little League Hall of Fame and everything. So I was pretty pumped about that growing up. Once he reached seventh grade, Don could join the school program, which had no weight limit. By sophomore year, he knew that football would be the sport that could take him somewhere. I played 10th grade year, and then uh, I had a big year in football, and, and my coach told me I could probably get some scholarships. So I just I told my dad, I was like, you know, it's been my whole life, but I just I think I have a better shot to make it in this than I do in baseball. Barclay remains close with two of his teachers slash coaches from high school, but he says the best piece of advice he's ever been given came from his dad. He said, you can still do it, you know, even though you're not the biggest guy. He's like, you know, it just comes from your heart. 